Hey guys, so I've had some clutch slipping on the recluse clutch that I put in. I'm very aggressive on the clutch. We do a lot of hill climbs. Um, we're going to go do some today. And I've noticed that as the, the bike gets really hot and I'm really slipping into the clutch a bunch, like a couple hours into a ride, I get a little bit of slippage on the clutch. I did set the Bellevue washer, the spring tension on this bike as light as possible, trying to get as little um, lever pull feel as possible. So I'm going to actually go in and I'm going to show you how to really quickly adjust the Bellevue washer on these later model KTMs and um, actually increase the spring tension to try to improve the um, clutch grip, and make it a little bit more aggressive. First thing you want to do is pull this cover off. I'm going to use an electric um, power drill. I'm just going <clears> to <throat> zip all of these screws out and then I'll show you how to get in there and actually adjust the, the spring tension on the Bellevue washer. You do have to remove this spring because it mounts into the cover. Uh, this is the brake lever return spring. Pretty easy to do. Oh, and by the way, you can see the bike's laid over on its side. That's on purpose so the oil doesn't drain out. I don't have to change the oil to do this. Uh, that comes off just like that. So what we're actually going to be doing, this washer has steps on the back side that change the height depending on where you set the screws. There's three positions, one, two, and three. Two is the stock position. This is actually the Bellevue washer. It's a flex washer. And when you set the step position on this, um, this adjustment plate, you change like the preload of that spring effectively. So what we're going to do is pull these out. Um, these are where your clutch springs would be on a traditional setup. So I'm going to pull these out. That's going to take all the pressure off the clutch stack. I'm going to move this. I have this actually set in three. Um, so that's the lightest position. I'm going to move it to two. Put this all back together. We're going to go do some big sand hill climbs out in the desert. We're going to see what happens. And um, I'll let you guys know. In any case, like you can set it to whatever you want. On this recluse ring, or I get, this is a stock ring, my bad. Um, anyway, number one is the most preload, the most tension. Two is in the middle, obviously, and three is the lightest. You want to not pull these all the way out all at once. You'll put uneven pressure on it. So I'm just going to take these out a little at a time. And you'll see the, the ring is lifting. So it's already loose. So unlike with traditional springs, there's very little distance to go. So I'm going to go from three. Just gonna rotate this to two. And I'm gonna put all these back in. Not changing anything about the clutch stack, just the preload tension. And we're gonna run these back in. Not gonna run them tight. I'm gonna run them down and hand or and like snug them up in an even way. Recommend tightening them by hand. I don't know what the torque is, but it's not very high. Um, just like with regular clutch springs, this don't have, these don't have to be very tight. And I don't want to run them in with the drill and strip them out. Just go around once, barking where you start. Make sure they're tight. You do not want these backing out. Perfect. That's it. Um, spring tension has been increased. We're going to drop the cover back on and we're going to go try it out and see how that works out. I recommend starting these by hand so that you don't start them stripped or start them cross threaded, sorry, which is easy to do with a power tool. But once I get them started, definitely going to save myself a ton of time and, and fatigue and run them in with the drill. Again, don't slam these tight. The torque is like seven foot pounds or something really light. Um, you don't want to over tighten them. Recommend final tightening by hand. Oh, and I recommend using the right size wrench. Again, mark where you start, go around and check that you hit them all. Replace your brake lever spring, just like that. That's it. So that's it guys. That's how you adjust the spring tension on the new KTM clutches where they have that Bellevue washer instead of traditional springs. Before I let you go, I'm going to throw a quick plug to these GoPro chin mounts that we make. So they're all custom. You can see this is a 60 ATR2. Sorry. So they're all custom designed for each helmet style. So you can see this one's perfectly fitting around the vents and everything. We're making these out of a new flexible material. So if you've been watching us for a while, um, these are damn near indestructible, which is awesome. Love using them. We've also got these 90 degree adapters. But anyway, links to all that shit down in the store down there. 
check it out. Appreciate your time. And um, we'd love a like and subscribe if you find any of this content useful at all. See you next time.